Today, everyone talks about being an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, whatever it is. <clears throat> I'm here to tell you a different variation of it, a salespreneur. And why do we want to be entrepreneurs? It makes sense because it's kind of the American dream. We want freedom to do what we want with our time and the, the money to be able to fund that, not to have a boss, you know, bossing us around, having to go to an office, sitting in a cubicle all day, filling out reports. We don't want to do that. And that's all understandable. But in sales, I think we have a mindset shift that needs to take place. And the mind shift is from a sales rep to a salespreneur. And let me explain this. If you think like an employee, you, you basically are just a cog in the wheel and you're not really taking responsibility for your real career, which is a salespreneur. A salespreneur takes ownership of their own process, their own technology, their own tools, their own territory and marketplace, and they see the value as them being the in-between between the vendor, their company, and their customers. And those relationships that they own with their customers are theirs. It's not really with the company, it's really with you. And your value to the company goes up once you start thinking like a salespreneur. Because a salespreneur does not see themselves as just a company person. Yes, they represent the company, but they also represent helping the customer, understanding the technology, understanding the industry, understanding how to help and expedite and solve problems for their client. They make their own investment in their own technology. I see too many salespeople who don't own their own laptops, don't own their own contact information, don't own their own CRM. Sometimes they don't even own their own phone. And guess what happens when the company downsizes, shifts, or moves around? They lose all of that. They lose all that contact and context information, and they can no longer really have anything that they were just an app within the company instead of their own little business between their company, which they represent, and their marketplace, their customer base. And they cannot transfer that as they go from place to place. Because today, you go, it's every two or three years. And it has nothing to do about screwing over the company or screwing over your customers. It's just the opposite. Because the more value you bring to your company, the more they will value you. The more value you bring to your customers, the more trust you'll have with them. And the salespreneur has the ability to most likely work from home today, where you don't have a boss cramming down over your shoulder and filling out reports. And a lot of that stuff we can outsource to virtual assistants today without anyone even knowing it. And it makes perfectly financial sense that we're building our own little business. And the real magic of this is that we can make as much as surgeons can. Today's salespreneurs can make in the high six figures, low seven figures of the best ones. The people who really take a mindset that they're going to go out and build their own little business without all the risk of starting their own company, without having to you know, pay for their own benefits and training and everything. They basically have the, the best of both worlds, the support and benefits and infrastructure of a company and the freedom and creativity to build their own little sub-business within their company. Check it out. I talk a lot about this in my podcast, The Brutal Truth About Sales and Selling on iTunes. If you like this, please like it, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.